Welcome to Masumi's Motion Products webinar series. In this session, we will be focusing on Masumi's rotary and drive shafts. One of Masumi's key product offerings is our shafts and rods that differ in price point and tolerances from their different applications. One of the most popular options is our rotary and drive shafts. We'll be going through some of the unique features and benefits of rotary and drive shafts offered by Masumi in this webinar. Masumi also offers a wide range of supporting products such as bearings, housings, couplings, and many other rotary power transmission components to complement our rotary and drive shafts. Masumi rotary and drive shafts are offered in diameters ranging from 2 to 50 millimeters and lengths of up to 1,000 millimeters. Rotary and drive shafts share many similarities, but there are some key differences between the two. Rotary shafts are usually sufficient for general applications and are the more popular option of the two. Rotary shaft tolerances are slightly lower compared to the drive shafts, making drive shafts more suitable for higher speed and higher accuracy applications. Many customers prefer the drive shaft option for more critical applications, such as direct mounting to a drive source. Drive shafts also offer many additional machining alterations not offered on the rotary shaft lineup. However, rotary shafts are available in longer lengths and inch sizes. The key difference between rotary and drive shafts is the tolerance range. So, let's review their technical and tolerance specifications. The first tolerance standards we'll discuss are the straightness and circularity tolerances. These tolerance standards are very important because it ensures that the shaft will rotate accurately without causing vibration. The straightness tolerance is 0.01 mm per 100 mm of shaft length for both rotary and drive shafts. Please note that our smaller shaft options with diameters 2 and 2.5 mm have a straightness tolerance of 0.1 mm per 100 mm of shaft length. The D section circularity tolerances can be seen on the charts to the right where rotary shafts have a circularity tolerance of as low as 4 microns and drive shafts have a tolerance of as low as 3 microns. Also measured are the concentricity and perpendicularity of the shafts. As per the diagrams, the perpendicularity tolerance measures the shaft's length against the in-face surface of the larger diameter. The deviation should not exceed 0.05 mm for rotary shafts and 0.01 mm for drive shafts. The concentricity tolerance measures the difference between the circularity on the different steps above the rotor shaft and ensures that the step is centered properly. An eccentric step is not ideal for smooth operation, as it will cause the shaft to rotate off center. Rotary shafts have a concentricity tolerance of 0.06 mm and drive shafts 0.01 mm. The next tolerance specification is the length tolerance, which is typically not as critical for rotary shafts because the shaft ends can protrude through a support hole, such as a bearing. The length tolerance for rotary shafts can range from plus or minus 0.1 to 0.8 millimeters. Drive shafts, however, are normally direct mounted or coupled, so the length tolerance may be more critical and has a tolerance of plus or minus 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters, depending on the length of the shaft ordered. Masumi rotary shaft diameters follow the JIS shaft fit tolerances. The available tolerance specs are H9, H7, and G6 as seen in the chart. Drive shafts also follow the JIS standard and are available in H6 and H7 tolerances. These tolerance ranges are a snapshot of the JIS shaft and housing fit tolerance chart that can be found online and in the technical section of the Masumi catalog. These tolerance ranges are important to ensure the proper bearing fit for your application. Notice that the JIS standard is called up by a lowercase letter. In the JIS shaft and housing fit standards, the lowercase letter represents a shaft or an OD fit tolerance, and the uppercase letter will represent the housing or hole tolerance. To help assist you in your tolerance selection, you can use this chart found online and in the technical section of the catalog. This chart shows some fit characteristics and some application examples for guidance on selecting a proper shaft and bearing fit combination that best suits your needs. After reviewing your different fit options with the previous chart, you can reference the JIS housing fit chart to achieve your optimal fit required. On the left column of this chart, you'll see the shaft fit represented with a lowercase letter as mentioned earlier, and the corresponding bearing fits for the different combinations. This second chart gives you a visual of the kind of clearance, transition, or press fit of the final selection you make. These charts are also found in our technical section of the catalog and online. Now that you have heard about our tolerance and fit selection information, 
Let's take a look at our rotary shaft options. Masumi offers our rotary and drive shafts in a variety of different material options. Masumi rotary shafts are offered in 1045 carbon steel and 304 stainless steel. The 1045 carbon steel option must be selected with a black oxide or electroless nickel plating surface finish. The 304 stainless steel option does not have a surface treatment option available. Like the rotary shafts, Masumi's drive shafts are also offered in 1045 carbon steel and 304 stainless steel. Again, the 1045 carbon steel option must be selected with a black oxide or electroless nickel plating finish. The 304 stainless steel option for drive shafts also does not have a surface treatment option available. Masumi also offers our drive shafts with an induction hardened option, as drive shafts are sometimes used directly mounted or coupled to a drive source and sometimes requires extra strength. As stated previously, all Masumi 1045 carbon steel shafts come treated with either black oxide or electroless nickel plate coating. The black oxide coating adds mild corrosion resistance and prevents light reflection. A great feature of this coating is that it does not alter the dimensions and does not peel or chip. It is also the less costly option of the two. Electroless nickel plating is the better option if additional corrosion resistance is required and also offers additional hardening for better wear resistance. Musumi also offers all of our rotary shaft options in 304 stainless steel, which is our best option for corrosion resistance. This is not a surface treatment, so a key advantage is that there is no potential for chipping or flaking. This option is best suited for food and clean room applications. 304 stainless is also non-magnetic. For our drive shafts, we offer an induction hardened option that increases the surface hardness to about 50 Rockwell C for better wear resistance. This process also increases the strength of the material for more demanding applications. Now that you're familiar with Masumi shaft types, materials, finishes, and basic fit selection process, you can now move to the next step and take advantage of our unique business model to select the exact shaft you need. Masumi offers many end shapes and features in which the blue dimensions can be configured in as little as 0.1 millimeter increments. Each specification you make will be represented by a digit in your universally recognized part number. This is just a glimpse of the variety of rotary and drive shafts that we offer. With Masumi, you are not restricted to a set shape or dimension. You can configure each end of the shaft differently with finishes like double stepped, tapped ends, threaded ends, stepped with a retaining ring groove, multiple keyways, and many other variations that are configurable to meet your unique design and application needs. Masumi categorizes our rotary shaft selections by the different end shapes and features of the shaft, but sometimes multiple features are required, so we offer additional machining alterations to help further configure your shaft to the exact design requirements. The first alteration we will discuss is a very common feature added to rotary shafts. This alteration adds one or two key ways to shafts where they are not already a standard feature of the basic shape. Keyways are used in combination with a key to prevent relative rotation between two components and allows for torque transmission. The location and length of the keyway can be configured in 1 mm increments anywhere along the length of the shaft, but cannot run the entire length of the shaft. The keyway dimensions are controlled by JIS standards, and all Masumi rotary shaft keyways are machined to an N9 tolerance, which can be paired with the appropriate key stock. The chart shows the dimensions and tolerances of each keyway based on the shaft diameter and can be found online or in the Masumi catalog. You can also get the keyways on the stepped ends of our shafts. One or two set screw flats can be added anywhere along the length of the shaft. The position and width of the flat are configurable in 1 mm increments. The flat is typically used to prevent the round surface of the shaft from being dimpled when clapping the set screw in place, and also adds additional surface area for better clamping force. The flat is typically used to prevent the round surface of the shaft from being dimpled when clamping the set screw in place and also adds additional surface area for better clamping force. Masumi also offers an alteration that allows you to add two set screw flats at an angle in the same location, configurable in 15 degree increments from each other. This alteration adds a set of wrench flats in a position anywhere on the shaft in 1 mm increments. However, the widths of the flats are predetermined based on the diameter of the shaft. These flats allow you to easily grip the shaft with a wrench when additional tightening is required. You can add a slit cam groove to your rotary shaft to help guide a cam or cam followers. The location of the slit cam can be configured in 1 mm increments along the length of the shaft. 
you can add retaining ring grooves to many of our rotary shafts. The location of the grooves can be configured in 1 mm increments, but the width of the groove is predetermined based on the shaft diameter. Masumi always includes the appropriate retaining rings, which are also available separately. The standard thread pitch is always coarse for Masumi shafts. This alteration allows you to change a thread pitch to a fine thread when necessary. Another alteration can reverse the threads from right to left, and Masumi also offers an alteration that adds an undercut to the threaded position of the shaft. From the Masumi Accuracy Standards part of the presentation, we learned that Masumi offers length tolerances ranging from plus or minus 0.1 to plus or minus 0.8 millimeters depending on the length selected. This alteration improves the length tolerance to plus or minus 0.05 millimeters for shafts less than 500 millimeters and plus or minus 0.1 millimeters for shafts equal to or greater than 500 millimeters. Also mentioned in the Masumi Accuracy Standards section of this presentation, the standard concentricity tolerance is 0.06 for rotary shafts. This alteration will improve the concentricity tolerance to 0.02 and is ideal for applications where it is critical, such as high-speed applications. Just like rotary shafts, sometimes drive shafts require additional alterations to fit your application needs. One advantage of the drive shafts mentioned in the introduction is that more complex machining options are available for our drive shaft selection. The first alteration we will discuss for drive shafts is threaded ends. This alteration adds up to three threaded shaft ends, including two step threads on one end of the shaft. You can also select whether you want a coarse or fine thread pitch, as denoted on the chart. This table can be found in the alteration section of the drive shafts. Due to the typical higher precision required for drive shafts, Masumi publishes the thread accuracy standard rating to ensure proper selection. The tapped end alteration adds a tap to one or both ends of the drive shaft. The thread will always be coarse for this option. Available thread sizes are noted in the chart. Retaining ring grooves can also be added to our lineup of drive shafts. Just like with rotary shafts, the location of the grooves can be configured in 1 mm increments, but the width of the groove is predetermined based on the shaft diameter. Drive shafts have the option to add up to four flats at any designated part of the shaft with the option of having a second flat at the same location in 30 degree increments. The flat location and width are configurable in one millimeter increments. The features of the keyway on a drive shaft are the same as on a rotary shaft, except that the drive shaft can allow up to four keyways, whereas rotary shafts can only have two. The location and length of the keyway can be configured in one millimeter increments anywhere along the length of the shaft, but cannot run the entire length of the shaft. The keyway dimensions allow the same dimensional criteria as rotary shafts. If a set screw flat is required in conjunction with the keyway, you can use this alteration to add a set screw flat at the same location as the corresponding keyway, but at an angle in 30 degree increments to the keyway. A set screw flat for all four keyways can be selected. This alteration adds up to three sets of wrench flats in a position anywhere on the shaft in one millimeter increments and follows the same dimensional criteria as rotary shafts. Masumi offers on our standard drive shafts an H6 or H7 tolerance, which is commonly used in slight clearance or slight push fit. Typically, a stronger press fit is recommended for direct coupled shafts to prevent the shaft from slipping during high torque applications. You can alter your shaft fit with this alteration code. Next, we will review industry examples. In this first example, this wire feeder application is driving rollers mounted to rotary shafts. These rollers are being driven by a timing pulley mounted to another rotary shaft and transmitting the motion through the system. The next example is part of the same wire guide assembly from the previous slide. The shaft driving the wire through is exposed to some force to flatten the wire being fed. This is a great example where our drive shaft could be used to withstand the additional force and wear in this application. The final application example is a feeder assembly. Rollers are driven by gears to feed product through the machine. The drive is transmitting the motion through sprockets mounted on a rotary shaft. Thank you for watching the Masumi Motion Products webinar on rotary and drive shafts. Visit masumi.info forward slash rotary shafts to explore the full selection.